Hello, this is for you if Hades 2 constantly crashes for you on Windows and we'll be exploring a couple of fixes that might reduce the crashes for you or just might fix them altogether. Now, what we need to do is go to where the game is installed. Now for me, it's located here on Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then Hades 2 and then Chip and the Ship folder, we scroll all the way down. Then we right click on this file, we go to properties, compatibility, then we check these two boxes, disable full screen optimization and run as admin, and we click on apply ok. Then we close this window, we go to our PC, then we click on properties, we go to the advanced system settings, in there we'll, we're going to increase our page file, and we can find that in the advanced and settings, then advanced again, then we click on change here. If there is automatic checkbox, we uncheck that. Then we click on custom size. And here we're going to add something up above the recommended size we can see below. It says 2000 something. So I'm just going to add 3333. We do the same thing for the maximum. We set and we click on OK. It's going to suggest to restart the PC, but we're not going to do that yet. We just click on OK now. Restart PC later. We close this window. Then one thing you can also do is close any background applications if you have any and another fix X here is opening the game and go into the options and display options then we disable the vsync and we could also try lowering the graphics settings I'll stick to medium here now if you still have screen tiering I'm gonna show you a, a way to have vsync on without the uh, vsync option in the game we if you have an nvidia graphic card then we open the nvidia control panel we go to manage 3d settings we click on program settings here and we add our hades 2 game it's going to show up here on the list we add it then we scroll all the way down then on the vertical sync option we click on we select on and we go a bit up and we need to find this option right here and make sure it's set to ultra low latency mode then we just restart windows and it should work i hope this helps you and peace out